A very happy new year to you. New year means new beginnings. When for to a lot of us, we start off our year by planning something to do something exciting and to do something that is closest to our goal. We set goals, some set resolutions, some set intentions. I've spoken about all of these in my previous videos, and I'm not going to go there. Today, I want to talk about things that you have to avoid or should avoid in your year so that your goals or resolutions or intentions or whatever that you're setting can actually be fulfilled. And these are what I call as three C's that you should limit in your life. What exactly are they? Let's find out. Hey there, my name is Aparna. I am a certified coach and every week I bring to you tips, tricks, tools and hacks that can help you upskill your life. And if this interests you, do consider subscribing to my channel. And while you're there, do not forget to press a bell icon so you're notified every week when I post a new video, which is every Thursday. All right, so last year for me was all about self-growth, self-care, self-love, self-acceptance, self-awareness, a whole lot of selves. This year though, I am I'm calling it my year of transformation, physically, mentally, spiritually, and of course, financially. But my larger focus is on the mental part. This is going to be my year of mental peace. So one of the things that I need to do to achieve peace of mind is to limit three C's in my life, comparing, complaining, and criticizing. The biggest of them all is comparing and all of us tend to fall prey to it knowingly or unknowingly. Did you know that comparing is basically inventing either joy or sorrow out of nothing? If healthy comparison is helping you move forward in your life, then to a certain extent that's alright. However, what we need to watch out for is when we start comparing ourselves with others on every single area of our lives, it becomes a habit and that habit is extremely dangerous. So watch out for how many times you are comparing, how many areas in your life are you comparing with others and try as much as possible to limit this. The second C is complaining. And I wanted to share some scientific facts with you. Did you know that when you complain, your body releases a stress hormone called cortisol? The more you complain, the more it releases and that impacts your immune system. It is also proven that the moment you complain, you are susceptible to high cholesterol, stress, diabetes, heart diseases, and also obesity. Is that even worth it? It also messes with your mental health big time because when you complain, you're constantly looking at negative things. And when negativity becomes a habit, it sucks you into that never ending rabbit hole, which only leads to severe depression. Know this, complaining is an act of reinforcing something that you don't like. And you're saying it again and again and again. So not worth it. So please limit yourself from complaining. The third C is criticizing or criticism of others. Do you know what happens when you criticize people? You feel superior because you are pointing your finger at others and saying that this isn't this and this is not right or this is not correct or this is the right way to do it you have a false sense of superiority and that boosts your ego when other person does not support your views then you go into ego clashes where you want to prove your point. Criticism to a healthy extent is fine, but the more and more you criticize others, the more and more they stop taking you seriously. And that, I don't think, is a great place to be in. So try and see how much of criticism is part of your life, whether it is to others or to your own self, and try and limit it this year. So there you are, those are the three C's that we need to limit in our life so that we can achieve a state of equilibrium. Do these three C's exist in your life? Are you troubled by them? Do you want to make do something about it? Do let me know in the comment section below or you may reach out to me in any of the social media platforms that I'm in. Thank you so very much for watching. If you like this video, do hit a like button, share it with your friends and of course, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Subscribe and also hit a bell icon so you're notified every week when I post a new video. 
I'll see you next week. Until then, take very good care of yourself. Bye.